Hi everyone, we're going to be making this card today from Technique Junkies, but I wanted to show you a little bit about Technique Junkies website and new releases. So every month on the first of the month, there's a new release from Technique Junkies. The new release products are always on sale for 15% off from the first to the eighth of the month. So a lot of people ask me if I have um, like a coupon code for Technique Junkies, which I do, but they also say, is there ever a sale at Technique Junkies? And yes, there is a sale every month from the first through the eighth, 15% off all the new stamps. And my coupon code, which is TJ10Tracy, is good for 10% off all non-sale items. And this coupon is good all the time, every month, every day of the month on non-sale items. When you order the new release items, the discount is automatically taken off. You don't need a coupon. This is a picture of the February new release stamps. In addition, you can purchase the Gotta Have It All bundle. So this is available every month for the new release. And the bundle saves you, I don't know, about 20%. So for example, this Gotta Have It All bundle has about 13 stamps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah, about 13 stamps for $92.99. There normally would be $115.35 and you save $23.71. I'm going to show you on the website where you can find these bundles as well as a couple other really cool features of the website. So let's head over to the website. Now, when you get to the website, this is what it looks like. Over on the left, you will see where it says February new release and gotta have it all. This is the February new release page. Each stamp is listed individually. If you click on the stamp, you'll get a product description and you'll see a gallery. The gallery includes photos of cards that were created by the design team. So you can just click on through these photos and you'll see cards that I created as well as this is one I made as well as cards that were created by the other members of the design team. I think this is a really cool feature and I'm not sure everybody knows about it. So I would definitely encourage you to browse the gallery of each stamp to get your ideas on how you can use the stamps. This is the slimline band border stamp. Now the stamp we're going to use today is called Kisses and Wishes. And I'm just going to show you the gallery. This is the card that I made. And you can browse through the gallery and see all of the cards that were created by the design team members. So as a design team member, we are required to get our projects in advance so that our um, Design team coordinator Pat, who is the owner of the company, can get these galleries ready to roll. And I think that's a great feature that there that there's so many ideas for you to pick. Then there's also the Gotta Have It All bundle. And so I'm going to click on that. It gives you a description of all of the stamps that are in Gotta Have It All bundle. It tells you how much it costs. And then I'm going to hit Add to Cart. And then I want to show you a couple features for you to keep in mind when you are checking out. And I'm going to proceed to check out. And now you're going to see the checkout screen. I'm going to just go ahead and put in my email and then continue as a guest. I'm not going to sign in. Okay, down here there's a box that says order comments. Now, I would like to encourage you each time you place an order with Technique Junkies to mention my name. You can just type in Tracy Schultz. Tracy Schultz referred me. I heard about this from Tracy Schultz on her video. Tracy Schultz is an enabler. <laughs> Whatever you want to put. Um, this helps Pat to know that you heard about the stamps from me. And I'm going to enlarge the screen here so you can see a little bit better. See, I put, I heard about this from Tracy Schultz. 
and then Tracy Schultz is an enabler or Tracy Schultz enabled me. This helps uh, Pat to track the referrals that come from me and lets her know that people are watching and ordering um, from my suggestions. Um, let's go ahead and add a stamp from a previous release. Now this is a stamp that was released last month. It's the Lavender Friendship Sentiments. By the way, it's an awesome stamp set. And let's add that to the cart. And I'm going to show you when you check out, there's a little box where you can put in my coupon code. So let's put in TJ10 Tracy. And it's going to take off the 10% of the non-sale item. So it's not taking 10% off the gotta have it all bundle. It's taking 10% off the non-sale item, Lavender Friendship Sentiments. And don't forget to put something in the comment box, which is um, at the bottom of the screen on the left. Uh, that would be great. Up at the top of the website are all kinds of links to things like the, the blog, um, the Technique Junkies Design Team blog, uh, videos, information, and this is the Technique Junkies Design Team blog. I post on this about twice a month. And so I would encourage you to subscribe to this because when you subscribe to this, then you'll get direct email from Technique Junkies about the new release, about the sale, and how you can do your ordering. And there you'll see there's my stamp, I mean my card that I made for the new release. Well, one of them anyways. I hope that little walkthrough helped you better understand the website and your options when you're ordering. Please don't forget to mention Tracy Schultz referred me. I heard about this from Tracy Schultz. I would greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to use my discount code for your non-sale items, TJ10 Tracy. Let's get started with our card. So we'll be using the Kisses and Wishes, which is a new stamp from Technique Junkies, as well as a previous release stamp. The Kisses and Wishes is number SD1166. I love the scripty font of this sentiment. It's all swirly. There's also some stars, three little stars, and Technique Junkie stamps are red rubber stamps. This one is called Burst. It is from a previous release. I have used it on cards in the past and it always gets a really good reception. I guess it's one of my top 10 favorites from Technique Junkies and Technique Junkie stamps are high quality red rubber stamps. Here are some of the products that I'm going to be using. I will explain those when I get to each one of them. I'm positioning my paper on my Tim Holtz stamp platform. You do not use the foam insert or a piece of fun foam. You don't have to use that when you're stamping with these red rubber stamps because they have the cushion foam built into the back of the stamp. These are high quality red rubber stamps. This is the rabbit hole design embossing tool, the telescopic embossing tool. I like it because it's less messy and it's convenient, so I've been using it for my embossing. We're going to be using Versamark Clear Ink, and I know you can't see it, but what I'm doing is taking the Versamark and stamping the stamp all over multiple times, pressing down just to get that stamp nice and covered with the Versamark. Then I'll use my um, glide tool that I use to grab in my hand to add pressure. And I'm going to check my work just to make sure that that entire stamp embossed and it seems like the middle section didn't quite catch the impression. I'm just holding it up to the light just to make sure. Once I'm satisfied, I'll go ahead and remove that and I will grab my embossing powder. This embossing powder is from Wendy Vecchi. It's called Cactus Flower. It's a nice bright fuchsia pink. My card is actually going to be all in this color. It's going to be a bit of a monochromatic theme, but it actually turns out to look really nice, even though it is the same color for the background and for the stamp. 
Well, it wouldn't be my video if I didn't spill a little embossing powder. Seems like it happens to me all the time. Let's get this cleaned up so we can emboss this panel. It is a pretty large image. It has a lot of detail. So it does take me a few minutes to heat up the panel to make sure that all the embossing powder melts and creates that beautiful shine. That's what I love about embossing powder. How shiny it looks, provides a little bit of texture to your card, comes in so many different colors. And if you don't have a lot of colors, don't worry. You can use ink and clear embossing powder. I find that works best with pigment ink and clear embossing powder, but you can also do it with Catherine Puller inks because they stay pretty juicy. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with the sentiment. We're going to use our rabbit hole designs, telescopic embossing powder tool. I've got Versamark. I am inking it up with Versamark first. Stamping that on my paper. By the way, my paper is Accent Opaque, 80 pound. And then I thought, well, let's see. Let's grab our Pucker Up ink. I inked the sentiment with Pucker Up because I wanted to have that bold fuchsia color for my sentiment. So not only is my ink fuchsia but so is my embossing powder again this is cactus flower embossing powder from wendy vecchi i'll have all of the supplies that i use linked below in my description box this next technique that i'm going to show you is called direct to paper we're taking our catherine puller ink pad and we are swiping it directly to the paper this is going to create a nice border around our sentiment I'm showing you this because sometimes all you need is a sentiment stamp and a little bit of ink to do the direct to paper technique and you've basically created your own frame. I like to use this technique a lot to make my matte layer for my card base. So I'll take my plain card base and do this direct to paper technique. And it looks like I have a piece of matching colored paper underneath my card panel. So this is a pretty big area. Let's get a little brave here and try to swatch the whole area. Catherine Puller inks are a dye based ink. Their ink pads are super juicy. I also have the refills and I keep my ink pads refilled. They're a dye based ink, so this will kind of fade back a little bit. It won't be, you'll be able to see like less of the transitions. Okay, so that's what I did. And actually that looks really nice. You could basically have your card right here, right? So I wanted you to see that as an option. But what I did was I trimmed the panel using a square die from my stash. I trimmed this direct to paper panel that I used my ink pad to create. I trimmed it down a little bit. And so I made it size, um, let me think, four by five and a quarter makes a nice little window doesn't it I see possibilities there but we're not going to use it for the window we're going to use it as a matte layer and then we'll put our burst layer on top of that I'm just going to use tape for that you could also use liquid glue but I had my tape runner handy so that's what I used now we have some foam tape on the back of the sentiment panel and that sentiment panel I did trim down with a square die from my stash and I did take the little ink pad from Catherine Puller pucker up and I gently edged it so that it had a nice border around it. So there you can see that even the sentiment has a 
border around it using that ink. So that's my card for today. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe. Everybody, please hit the thumbs up for this video and leave a comment below what you think about the features that I showed you on the Technique Junkies website. Here's another card that I made, very similar, but I used a black card base. In a few seconds, I'm going to have some still photos of my finished cards so that you can get a closer look at them. First, the one that I created today on my video. And then my second card has a black base for the card base. And for my sentiment, instead of using direct to paper to drag that ink, I used a blending brush to create a pink edge around that sentiment. Thanks so much for watching today. I really appreciate you and I would love it if you would leave a comment below. I read all of your comments and they definitely inspire me to keep on creating my videos. Have a hopeful day. Bye-bye.